hello students now as we all know that pharmacology is the science of drugs today we are going to discuss sources of drugs that is from where do we get the drugs now this video is a second part of the series on general pharmacology we can get drugs from two main sources namely natural sources of drugs and the synthetic sources of drugs now let's first talk about the natural sources of drugs one by one now the first natural source of the drugs is the plants now some plants possess medicinal properties now some very well known examples of the drugs that are obtained from the plants are uh, the goxin then quinine morphine atropin etc now second natural source of drugs is the animals now many drugs have been derived from animals like for example insulin heparin adrenaline thyroxin these all are derived from the animals now third natural source of the drugs is the mineral source for example iron uh, that is a ferrous sulfate it is a mineral source ferrous sulfate is used in the treatment of iron deficiency anemia then aluminium hydroxide it is also a mineral aluminium hydroxide is used for reducing acidity acidity of the stomach now the fourth natural source of the drugs is the microorganisms microorganisms like bacteria fungi etc now a very good example of a drug that is obtained from the microorganism is the antibiotic now antibac antibiotics are the antibacterial agents and these antibiotics they are actually derived from microorganisms now antibiotics like penicillin penicillin is derived from a fungus that is a penicillium chirosogenum then again an antibiotic that is the bacitracin bacitracin is obtained from a bacteria that is a bacillus subtilis so these are the natural sources some very important natural sources of the drugs now after natural sources of drugs uh, let's talk about the synthetic sources of drugs now around 90% of the drugs are obtained by chemical synthesis that is the drugs are synthesized in the laboratory by using chemicals for example sulfonamides sulfonamides are antibacterial then furosemide furosemide is a diuretic now apart from the routine chemical synthesis there are some new novel techniques by which drugs are synthesized now these include uh, cell culture now in this technique cells are grown under controlled conditions in the laboratories for example a uh, urokinase urokinase is a thrombolytic drug uh, it is obtained by cell culture now urokinase is a thrombolytic drug it breaks the thrombus or the clots which are produced in the blood and therefore it is used in the management of cardiac diseases like for example myocardial infarction now this urokinase is derived from cultured human kidney cells that is the human kidney cells are grown in the laboratory under controlled conditions and from these uh, and from this culture urokinase is derived which is a thrombolytic drug now another novel uh, technique Uh, is the recombinant dna technology now as we all know uh, dna is made up of genes so in this technology dna from two different sources is collected and combined so a modified recombinant dna is obtained now by this technology uh, various drugs like uh, erythropoietin hepatitis b vaccine insulin are produced now uh, let's uh, take the example of human insulin now human insulin gene is inserted into a small dna strand called as plasmid so a recombinant dna is produced now this recombinant dna is specialized to produce human insulin and further this recombinant dna is inserted into a bacteria so this bacteria starts producing human insulin and that human insulin is collected so this is how recombinant dna technology is very useful in the production of drugs now uh, another new and highly specialized technique 
to produce specialized drugs like uh, monoclonal antibodies is the hybridoma technique. Now, monoclonal antibodies are identical antibodies. For example, abseximab, uh, it inhibits platelet aggregation. Then, adalimumab, it is uh, used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. So, this is in brief on natural and synthetic sources of drugs. Now, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.